I could have guessed until the cows come home what I'd be first at, and this is not it. Matt I, Moore has I, quite the sense of humor. Been, His story is incredibly I, uh, unique, but far from Rachel funny. The at the age of 39, he was in complete heart failure. When people come to Duke, they're looking for us to... Duke to cardiologist Dr. Adam DeVore so. says Moore's heart vessels were significantly blocked. His heart wasn't getting enough blood flow, and his heart had become very weak. I felt fatigued, you know, didn't feel right. Um, and that I was having trouble sleeping at night. Things were so serious, Moore's doctors sent him to see experts at Duke. But within 24 hours, he took a turn for the worse. You coded? Yeah, he completely coded. The doctor said I was mostly, I was dead for 45 minutes. That um, they couldn't find a, you know, a pulse and, and things like this. And it was, um, but they did tell me afterwards that there's a difference between Duke dead and regular dead. They didn't give up on you. No, they no, didn't. They did not. Moore was too sick to wait for a heart transplant. So his surgeons decided to try something new. So new, in fact, it's still being studied by the FDA. And he said, okay. He said, well, there's this thing. <laughs> and that's how he started. It's called CARMAT the first totally artificial heart developed in Europe. The only con that I, you know, that we had was, okay, he's the first. The first patient in North America, only the 20th in the world. But the risk was worth it for Moore and his family, including three-year-old Marshall, who they recently adopted. You know, my, my biggest thing was getting home to, to see my son, so I fought and I fought. We're two and a half on the device. In July, surgeons replaced Moore's heart with the artificial one. The Carmat heart uses electronics, pumps, and sensors, but Dr. DeVore says it's uniquely made for the human body. The parts that come into contact with blood are made from pig tissue because metal or other substances can cause human blood to clot. We worry about clots that can break off and go anywhere, including the brain, cause strokes. Let's go home. That artificial heart yeah. kept more alive long enough to get stronger while he waited for a human donor. In November, another family's loss gave the Moors even more hope when he finally received a human heart. They helped me sustain my life and I couldn't be more thankful for that. I would tell them, thank you, I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for everything that you've done. As the Moors leave Duke, they say the miracles of modern medicine happening here gave them another chance to cherish every moment with their son, grateful for every second and every single heartbeat. It saved your life. It saved my life completely. There's no doubt about that.